Cannon uh, wants the floor on this report and also on Kaufmann, Francher and Weber. Mr Hannan, you have the floor. <coughs> Thank you, Mr Chairman. Uh, I rise, as is becoming traditional on these occasions, to point out that the harmonisation of European policy in the fields of justice and home affairs has only the flimsiest of legal bases. Much of the reports we've just voted on, the Kaufmann, the Franzer, the Brake, the Weber, and indeed the Lambert report, uh, is there to give force to aspects of policy, to initiatives, in, in the case of Eurojust, to an entire institution that has no proper legal mandate. It is true that such a mandate would have been provided by the European Constitution or Lisbon Treaty. But it's equally the case, as it seems periodically necessary to remind this chamber, that that constitution was three times rejected by 55% of French voters, by 62% of Dutch voters, by 54% of Irish voters. The ability to have monopoly on penal coercion, a criminal justice system, is perhaps the supreme defining attribute of statehood. We may define a state as a territory with agreed rules enforced by a common authority. If the European Union wishes to give itself this supreme attribute of statehood, it should have the decency to ask its people's permission first in referendums, Pactio Olisipiensis Sensenda Est.